What's up everyone, Lance Hedrick here. And today I'm gonna to talk about the number one thing to improve your coffee at home. Now, for a while I've been planning on making a big robust video on this exact thing that I'm gonna talk about. But today is not that video. Now, I know you're sitting there going, okay, just tell us what is the number one thing we're overlooking. Well, for some of you, you may not be overlooking it. For others, you may be sort of overlooking it, and I'll explain what that means in a second. And for others, you are completely overlooking this, and that is your water. Now, water, I know, is the most mystical thing in all of coffee. It's easy to buy a grinder. It's easy to buy a brew method. It's easy to replicate a brew method you see on a Brewer's Cup stage. It's easy to do to buy better coffee. It's easy to do all of these different things that people typically tell you to do to improve your cup quality. But the most important thing is water. In a cup of filter coffee like I'm drinking right here, over 98% of what's in here is water, right? So if you have a, if you hear the term TDS, that refers to total dissolved solids, and we're talking in terms of percentage of your beverage. So typically, coffee has around 1.5 TDS, or 1.5% of your liquid beverage is coffee dissolved, right? So that means 98.5% is water. So how are we getting that coffee? Well, we're getting it with the solvent, water. But the efficacy of that water is dependent upon the mineral buildup of said water. Now, I'm gonna link some sources below that you can go ahead and look over if you want. Again, I will be planning a massive video on an introduction to water, but for now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna link a paper by Dr. Chris Hendon below on his 2014 paper on the role of cations in coffee extraction. Now, in this paper, Dr. Hendon pushes the idea that magnesium is a more powerful extractor than calcium. Now, I know I've skipped ahead, what we have in coffee is you essentially, or in water, is essentially hardness and alkalinity. That's kind of what we're going to focus on. A lot of times people refer to water just in terms of ppm or parts per million, but that's not helpful. That doesn't give us the whole idea of what's in your water. We need to know what broken down, what your hardness is, which refers mostly in when you're talking to water, your calcium and your magnesium, and what your alkalinity is or your buffer. This is what aids in the extraction of the acidity in your cup of coffee. So when we're talking about alkalinity and we're talking about hardness, you're mainly talking in the latter, you're talking about magnesium, calcium, in the former you're talking about bicarbonates, all right? So in this, he argues that magnesium is a more powerful extractor, but you have different tastes. Now, typically people see magnesium as affecting extraction in a way that really brings complexity and brings a lot of big kind of notes to the coffee. Whereas calcium gives you more of that brightness, more of that clarity. Okay, so you'll, you'll be able to tell the difference if you were to cut coffee is brewed with only magnesium as your hardness or only calcium as your hardness. And then on the other side of the spectrum with your bicarbonates, your alkalinity, you have essentially sodium and potassium as the two things that are connected to the bicarbonates, bringing your alkalinity. So what I've found is sodium bicarbonate tends to give you, it tends to kind of mute out some of the bitterness from darker roasted coffees, or it can kind of curb some of the bitterness if you kind of over extract or have some channeling, whereas potassium bicarbonate can kind of accentuate some of the fruity characters of your coffee, though it doesn't do a good job of lessening some of those bitter notes. So you have these, these main common compounds that you can play with in your water to improve your brews. So if you're using your typical tap water, well that has a lot of other minerals than your strictly, your magnesiums, your sodiums, your bicarbonates, etc. It's got a lot of other stuff in it. So unless you are, unless you're cognizant of what's in your tap water, that's probably where you're losing a lot of the flavor in your coffee. So today, without further ado, I want to present to you a solution that I am excited about. I have actually co-founded a company and I know this, this is, this is, I feel a little embarrassed doing this, but I needed to. We have a Kickstarter going right now that I would love for you to check out, but it's called Lotus Water. And what we have done, my, my partner and I, Nick Chapman, is we have made creating your own water profiles, experimenting with your water, simple. Now, yes, you can buy your own salts at home, and I absolutely encourage you to do that if you if you want to deal with the arithmetic and you want to deal with the concentrations. That is, that is a cheaper option, obviously, because what we're doing is essentially that for you. We're getting really high grade, food quality, food safe, minerals, and we're making concentrates with precision, precision droppers so that you don't have to do the mathematics. It comes with a 450 milliliter bottle. All you have to do is follow simple recipes that we'll put on our website based off of drops. So instead of having to measure 
Epsom salt, or you know, you can measure out the magnesium, uh, magnesium sulfate, or you can uh, t the the sodium bicarbonate. Uh, that's typically what people do is is Epsom salt and baking soda, right? Not baking powder, but baking soda, because that uh, and, and with that you'll get your hardness and the magnesium, and you'll get your alkalinity with the bicarbonate. But the issue here is, you know, a lot of people have found that sulfates can actually contribute some bitterness to uh, to your coffee. What we have done with our magnesium and our calcium in order to make it uh, so there's not really any particulates, no separation, you can just drop it and go. We found that chloride works really well and it doesn't really have that bitterness that you can detect with sulfates. On the magnesium and on the calcium chlorides, every single drop that you put into the bottle is simply 10 ppm. So oh, those are drops. I'm getting messy. Sorry. Shaky hands. 10 ppm per drop. Now with alkalinity, which we have sodium bicarbonate and we have potassium bicarbonate, which I have here, every single drop, let me go ahead and not have drippies on this. Every drop is 5 ppm, so 5, 10, 15, 20, right? So you'll be able to build your own recipes with ease. You can replicate other predetermined recipes that are out there on the market. These, uh, and you can try out recipes of people who have been brewing. So uh, on our Kickstarter page, we have a Dan, the Dan Eels recipe. We've got one of Chris Hinden's favorite recipes. Uh, and we have two recipes that I have come up with uh, over multiple, multiple cuppings of blind cuppings of figuring out what I thought would be the brightest and most, um, most floral and brightest coffee. We have the Lotus Light and Bright. And then I also have the, uh, a simple and sweet uh, recipe that will just accentuate the sweetness and the body of your filter brews. We're also working on espresso recipes, but I just wanted to put this in front of you. If this is something that has been mystical for you, this is going to be a product I think that can revolutionize home brewing. And I hope that you consider checking out that Kickstarter. I have the link below and I hope this isn't too much pandering for one of my YouTube videos, but this is the first time I've ever had any, uh, I've, I've ever partaken in, in, in ownership of a company. And I'm really excited about the direction of this. I think this is a, a really good idea. And I think this is going to really help home brewers take an extra step in controlling their variables. Water is the most important variable and it's time that we understand how it works and hopefully this is a stepping stone to people creating their own water at home with salts but until people feel that is demystified for them we are going to be producing these and I, I hope you enjoy it so with all of that being said keep an eye out for a future video on a big introductory to, uh, or introduction to water for coffee um, but yeah uh, thanks for watching yet again check out the kickstarter to my patreon hit the like hit the subscribe share with people who might uh, might be trying to who might have upgrade itis and buying more and more grinders because they think their coffee doesn't taste good due to their grinder let them know that this water exists and that it's the, the it's the way to go control your brew water make better coffee brew something tasty today and cheers